how to embed calendly on wordpress quick and easy hi guys welcome back today i'm giving you a tutorial on how to embed your calendly to your wordpress website to schedule events meetings and appointments so let's get started first what you guys need to do is you have to have a wordpress website and then you will require a calendly account if you do not have a calendly account you can go to calendly.com and sign up the signing up process is really easy you can click on get started and then you can sign up with your google account or microsoft or you can use your email address there is also a free version of calendly available and it is a hub for scheduling meetings professionally and efficiently eliminating the hassle of back and forth emails so you can get back to work calendly is a very famous and effective platform to add to a website so today we will add it to our WordPress website. In order to embed your Calendly to your WordPress, we will be adding a plugin on WordPress and we will simply then add Calendly. So get to your WordPress dashboard. This is my dashboard here and I'm going to scroll down to plugins. In plugins, go to add new. Here we're going to search for Calendly. All right, so you can see the first plugin that we're getting is embed Calendly easy and simple way to embed calendly scheduling pages on wordpress so this is what we will be using there are other calendly embed option as well and you can actually explore more but you can see these are for different platforms the first one is pretty good it's compatible with my wordpress and then we also have you know you can see it has more than 10,000 active installation i'm gonna click on install now and then click on activate it will be added on my wordpress website so here it is. I'm going to click on it. Embed Calendly. The plugin has been added. So you can see. Thank you for downloading Embed Calendly. And now we will sync our Calendly with our WordPress website. Click on this sync option. And then it will allow you to add your events, to customize your Calendly. So you can just go to these settings. And this is where you will be adding your Calendly key. So we require an API key from Calendly to add on WordPress. For that, we will go to our Calendly.com. This is my main dashboard. On Calendly, go to integration. Now, this is also a way that you can simply go to first Calendly and just go to integrations and add your WordPress instead of going to WordPress and adding a plugin. But you will require an option to add to WordPress. That is why we can just set up embed Calendly first. So we have integrations on Calendly and Calendly allows us to add our Firefox, we have our Google calendars, we have HubSpot, MailChimp, all of the platforms can be embedded with Calendly. This is pretty impressive. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for embed Calendly and in embed Calendly we're getting WordPress. So this is where you will be getting the websites and this is embed Calendly that we added to our WordPress website. First option is WordPress. We are embedding our WordPress, so I'm going to select this one. It will take me to my embed option. All right, so here we have how to embed Calendly in WordPress. It actually opened up a page for me, and it's showing me how to do that. Why editing one of your pages, highlight and add a URL. Okay, so we have our embed option, and now we can go to pages, and we can just add a custom HTML and add Calendly HTML to our wordpress website so that's how it's going to be it's really easy all right so we'll just go back to our wordpress website and you can also get your api from calendly just go right here and you can go to your settings you can see share your link and this is our calendly link copy your link email your link or add to your website so this is my link that i need to add to my website let me show you again just open up your calendly.com here you are on your dashboard go to your account share your link and third link is add to your website perfect now i'm gonna go back and even if you do not want to add an api key you can just add a custom html so that's let's do that let's go to pages now Calendly actually showed us how to do it the easy way and what we need to do is we just need to add a custom HTML. We can also open up our website and actually add a blog. Open up your page, click on customize. So now my page has been opened. I will scroll down to additional CSS or we can go to more. 
and we can select a you know link but what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one then you will open up the page where you want to add calendly now this is a new page that i created and we can actually you know just call it appointments all right so i will be adding calendly here click on this plus icon which allows you to add different blogs to your website and we're gonna add an html blog all right so i'm just gonna scroll down to html custom html you can see drag it and drop it right here on your website all right so it has been added here and i will just write the html go to your calendly i'm gonna copy this one which is add to your website and we'll just paste it okay click on enter and it will be added let's get a preview and this is what it will look like once the site is published then you will actually see that it's a page of my calendly i can also customize it i can duplicate it insert it lock it then we have you know remove it so all of the options are given with these three dots now this is what the integration will look like once it's published the page is published your calendly will be shown so this is how you can add your embed your calendly uh, to your wordpress website so you can just add create a blog for this one and also give it another name if you want you can call it something else like calendly or to book appointments click on this link your visitors will click on it and they will be driven to your calendly now on calendly i can create different events appointments click on create and it allows you to create an event tie one of meeting and pose i can just maybe create an event so just select this one and then we can add one-on-one -on -one meetings we have groups collectives round robin creating a, and a meeting is also really easy you just click on create and then you will enter all the details we can add event type we can add locations descriptions event link uh, select a color so using calendly is actually really easy and there is already a video on the channel how to use calendly you can check it out as well to get an overview on how to use calendly as a complete beginner uh, once you create different meetings on uh, calendly you have created different appointments they will automatically be updated on your wordpress because we have embedded our calendly on our wordpress really easily so you just need to get your calendly link and then go to your wordpress page add the custom link and you're good to go i also showed you how to add a plugin if you are having trouble with embedding the code you can add a plugin as well you can go to the integrations and add calendly from integration too so there are two ways to do this and i showed you both of these on how to embed calendly to your wordpress website so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you. I tried to do everything about the topic and I hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go. And don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to. Also, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. The button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question